Hi, how are you today, your vision fans? We're up with the next episode of reading your vision 2020 lyrics, and let's get started with the first one uh, from Finland, Axel and Looking Back. We would fall asleep talking about our dreams, waiting for 18 is never what it seems. So I like this lyrics, and when we were young, we really want to grow up really fast, and when we grow up, nothing happens. At least nothing great. I'm sorry if you're like really young, but it's unfortunately true. You get more responsibilities. It never gets better. You keep getting more responsibilities as you age. So yes, I agree with this verse a lot. We were young and naive, didn't know what we need. We were in such a rush to grow up. We were restless, confused, summer nights on the roof, didn't know what was in front of us. Yeah, you don't know what exactly what's happening, what is going to happen in your life. If we knew, we would have done things differently, but we don't know. Summer nights on the roof is just such a perfect line to look back at the thing that is such a carefree thing. It's so freeing. And then when you look back, and it again is. Chasing the high life, stuck in the low lights, but we never know what we have until it's over and we're looking back. Yeah, exactly. Most of the time, I'm not going to say always, but most of the time we don't know what we have until it's gone. So don't take things for granted. Speeding through red lights, we had a good ride, but we never know what we have until it's over and we're looking back. I don't exactly know what speeding means, but if we take into account that he's looking back at when he was a teenager. Teenagers do crazy thing, things and speeding will be one of those. He made mistakes, but it was a good ride nonetheless. I love this. This is an amazing lyric. All these memories made me feel at home. When I walk these streets, I'm the only one I know. So the memories are the things that make us feel good. The things that make us feel us. Even the bad ones, believe me or not. But when I walk these streets, I'm the only one I know. This kind of sounds to me like he's come to this point in life when you maybe go to college or to university and you kind of lose old friends. I don't know, if you're one of those people that went to college or like married and has kids and you kept all of your friends, please tell me how you did that. I'm sure that people are there just for certain times in our lives and not forever. So even if they're your best friend, they might not be there forever. So that's how this sounds like to me. You have friends that are close to you that you know, but the only one you know is you, even though you will never truly know yourself because you, as soon as you realize who you are, at least in my case, I change. <laughs> now it's too late to save. All the seasons have changed. Didn't know what was in front of us. We would like to keep those memories. We would like to just go back to those times. But things change and you can't do anything. Time will always pass. And passing time means change and changing friendships, changing yourself, changing in your life. Maybe you're not interested in the same things anymore. I adore this lyrics. It's amazing. Chasing the highlight, stuck in the low lights, but never know what we have until it's over and we're looking back. Speeding through red lights, we had a good ride, but we never know what we have until it's over and we're looking back. I have no complaints about this lyrics. Five out of five. Thank you, Finland. We're moving on to Franz and Tomlib, the best of me. The night is like an echo, like a reflection of your words inside my heart. I read an endless story. And again, we're to the part when I'm completely lost and I don't know what I'm reading. An endless story about you? What would even an endless story be? Maybe a story of life? Like, it seems like it's gonna be endless? If it lasts for like a thousand more years, it kind of feels endless. And by thousand more years, I mean if humans exist for thousand more years. You are the best in me. We're making it all complete. You are, you are, you are. In every breath I breathe, forever, eternally, you are the best in me. Empty words. This sounds desperately romantic, but I don't care. <laughs> I do the impossible. Send my innocence on a journey so that it gives birth to everything we promised each other. That's risky thing to say. Usually people just think of 
birth when it's well, you know actual birth but to me birth means birth of a new idea birth of a new project something new send my innocence on a journey i don't really understand so is he sending his innocence to create something new so it's pure what does that have to do with you as in the you that it's the best in me or is the you something that is actually me i just went hella philosophical there i don't know help me you're the best in me you're making it all complete you are in every breath i breathe forever eternally you are the best in me my accomplice my accomplice even if we were to stop without you i lose the best in me i mean if the, if he's actually so desperate about another person i don't like this lyrics but if this without you i lose the best in me is actually a part of him that he would lose and he would you know you can't really lose a part of yourself if you do then you lose yourself like completely so i prefer that other meaning the more deeper meaning here than the desperately romantic one i don't know this lyric is not too great but i will give it three out of five uh, we're moving on to the United Kingdom and James Newman's My Last Breath. Some people let go, some people let love slip away. But I'm gonna hold on when no one believes, I'll keep the faith. Well, letting go unfortunately has two meanings. And usually the let go meaning to me is actually empowering. And in this case, he's making it like letting go is not good. Letting go of love but if you let go of love that is not healthy for you then that's empowering you're not supposed to cling on something that's not good for you anymore but okay again it's it's one of those things that everybody's doubtful of you and nobody believes in you but i will believe in myself and i'll keep the faith and i will do it and that's all you need don't listen to others if especially if they're like you're never gonna make it but if you believe that you're gonna make it you're gonna make it and I know that we're in trouble, but I swear that we'll survive. This sounds familiar. I never understand, like, is it a tiny bit? Like, is it the first five in a relationship and you're like, we'll survive? Or are you literally not matching and I'm just gonna cling, I don't care. If we were deep sea divers and no one came to find us, if you had nothing left, I'd give you my last breath. Well, that's lovely. I don't think that would actually help. I know that it's metaphorical, that it's not literal. Because if he actually gave his last breath, she would probably use this last breath and they would both die. So might as well not give the last breath. I, okay, I'm overanalyzing, I'm sorry. We all need a lifeline, someone to call when we're alone. It's all good in the good times, but I'll still be there when it all goes wrong. Yes, I will. I agree with all of this, but I don't understand how this has anything to do with the rest of the lyrics. If we were deep sea divers and no one came to find us, if you had nothing left, I'd give you my last breath. And I know that we're in trouble, but I swear that we'll survive. I don't know, is this last breath like understanding? Is it is it compromise? What is this last breath? What is this actually meaning? Think for yourself. I'm disappointed. 2.5 out of 5. I think Samantha Tina will have a better song in 2021 than in 2020. Well, can't she reach the potential or the hype that she had in 2020 please tell me in the comments i do not know i actually hope she would have a better song that one was really risky but also could actually do well i don't know <laughs> anyway take care and see you in the next video bye